Hey Stampers, welcome to Monday. It's the Monday edition of Maker Mornings Meg. I'm Meg from Live and Stamps. And I am really glad that you guys are here this morning because I have a card to share with you that I think you're really gonna like. It is a great layout for lots of different occasions, not just for Christmas, which we're doing today, um, but it is a drapery fold card, which is a great idea because it lets you show off both sides of a fabulous designer series paper. So today I have uh, on here the uh, Painted Christmas Designer Series paper, which um, I used kind of recently um, when I did these cards. These were the ones um, that I shared with the um, painted gingerbread uh, card bases. I used these pieces of, of the designer series paper there in the background. Um, here was the other one, another example of the pretty papers. Uh, but we're going to use a paper today, and instead of sticking it down to a card base, we're going to show off both sides. So um, let's see. It's good to see you guys this morning. Uh, hey, Jennifer and Pam and Trish and Diane and everybody who's here. Um, so I'm going to start off with um, a piece of designer series paper um, from this set and you're gonna cut your paper to 12 inches by four and, well, 12 inches by four inches or 12 inches by four and a quarter if you wanna splurge and have sort of a taller card size. Um, but I'm gonna give you some cutting directions and let's go ahead and get started. So. Uh, for a card today, the one I'm going to choose to use, and I'll show you a whole nother sample um, at the end, I'm gonna use this paper here, which is a great combination of evening evergreen, pear pizzazz, real red. Um, you can get soft succulents in there, lots of different choices. So let's turn you guys down this direction. I don't know if it's chilly um, where you're at, but it has gotten cold here, so I have my full sweater on. And our card today was inspired by my friends Kathy and Lynn, who actually just signed up to be, um, they just ordered the, we call it the I Want It All kit, the demonstrator starter kit. Um, but they sent me a super cute uh, drapery fold card here. And it opens to um, have the um, designer series paper show there in the center. And so my birthday was yesterday. And so they sent me this card and I thought, oh my gosh, I haven't made one of those for a while. I think it's time to make a drapery fold card. So thanks guys. Uh, and if you don't know about the starter kit special um, on the I Want It All kit, AKA Demonstrator Starter Kit, you can check my website, which actually when I looked at it this morning had a 404 arrow, but I have an amazing web um, manager for me. Uh, her name's Cindy and she is super great and I'm sure it will be uh, back up and running in no time. So um, anyway, you can check later if it's not working right this second. So uh, I have my for um, Simply Scoreboard, and I'm gonna give you the directions for cutting and scoring this. So like I said, you could cut your paper to four and a half by 12, um, or four by 12, um, or four and a quarter. What, four and a half by 12? Good thing I wrote that in pencil, right? Okay, this is, this is the Monday morning thing. So four and a quarter by 12, or four inches by 12, whatever makes you happy. I can't write upside down, I can only stamp upside down. <clears throat> okay. Uh, the only thing that's going to matter is the size of your inside layer in the end for that. All right, so from this now I'm going to go across and I'm going to score at four inches. Not so great at scoring upside down. Four and a half inches. Can I just start over? Okay, our size this morning is what's written on the paper. We're going to start scoring at four and a half inches at six inches. Uh, and I do not score well upside down. Six and a half inches eight inches, eight and a half inches. The scoring is actually pretty easy for this. 10 inches and 10 and a half inches. Now you could just use your um, regular trimmer for this, um, which I'm gonna pull out next because we're gonna go ahead and trim an angle on this card. So <clears throat> you could use your trimmer to do your scoring also. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Um, whatever you find is easiest. So, okay, I'm gonna pull this in here. And then let me grab our, there we go, um, paper. So the part that's gonna be our card base is kind of this piece down here at the end and then we're gonna drape refold all this. But before I do that, I wanna go ahead and trim that. And so I'm gonna line up the bottom of that score line here with the cutting line on my trimmer. Let me get my cutting, uh, my trimmer blade or scoring blade out of the way. 
And then I'm just gonna slide this down here and trim off a triangle about like that. Now, it feels like um, a lot sometimes, uh, like you wanna go way far up on your paper with your triangle, like out to here, but I kinda like it low so that I have a lot of the paper showing on the front. So again, it doesn't really matter which, um, you know, how high this is, but for reference, mine is about two and a half centimeters since we're on this side, or uh, maybe about three quarters of an inch, so. All right, then <clears throat> I'm gonna start my fold. And when I'm folding, I um, know that this is the scores are straight because I did them on my trimmer, but I really like to go back and forth um, and keep everything kind of in line. So, ah, thanks, Pam. Pam said this color looks nice on me. Yeah, I like pulled out a turtleneck sweater, which I haven't worn forever, but um, my uh, daughter's a senior in high school and she's like, mom, I want turtlenecks. So I guess they must be back in. <laughs> So I'm going to um, pull this back and forth here, sort of in a zigzag fold. And um, what you're gonna find is as you go across your curtain, you're gonna start to see the back peek out from here and the front um, peek out from there so that you have this kind of cool um, design. Now, when you first fold it, it, it doesn't wanna stay very well. Um, so it's gonna be a little bit um, drapery-y. There's kind of the bottom side of it. Um, and there's the top side of it. But we're gonna go ahead and glue that. And I'm gonna give you some tips for this because um, I've done quite a few of these and so sometimes I find that some things work better than others. So I'm gonna use my um, Seal Plus. You could also use tear tape or if you want to glue it down and then hold it for a bit, you could use your green lid glue. But see how there are on, maybe you can see best from the top, there are these um, half inch pieces here. That's where I'm gonna put my adhesive. And I'm gonna go almost to the bottom, but not quite. You don't wanna go all the way to the bottom because you, um, did I just do that? No, okay, whew, thought I did it wrong. Um, you don't wanna go all the way to the bottom because there's gonna be a place where you have the drapery from that angle. And so you don't want to um, have your card go, uh, you don't wanna have your card adhesive go there because it's gonna seal it shut. Now, like I said, I like to keep my card straight while I'm doing this so that I can match each one of those glued lines up so that this top panel is straight with my card. Does that make sense? So I'm watching this top edge here and folding those all back and forth so that we've got that, okay? So the back side's glued. Now, don't be alarmed that the front of it wants to just curl up like this. I'm sure that there's a cool card design in there. But then what you're gonna do, I'm gonna just flip it upside down so it's a little easier. And I'm gonna do the same thing on that half inch piece. I'm gonna go ahead and do these one at a time and I'm going to press down, and you wanna really burnish that adhesive so that you get, and again, you can make sure it's all staying straight. Yep, as you go. Um, and a bone folder is a great way to um, burnish these adhesive lines once you get them on there. Okay, and then last one. And I didn't go all the way down on that one because I kinda like this little last bit of our curtain to pop up. Okay. All right, you guys with me? So there is our curtain card fold base. Now, one of the things to do um, next is figure out how you're gonna decorate this because you basically want to um, have something up here that's just really gonna secure the top of your card. And so um, I decided to use the Words of Cheer stamp set and the super fabulous um, Christmas cheer dies, which are um, many. <laughs> Uh, so let's see, we have these layered words here. Um, the ones that do cheer, I guess I'll do that that way for you. And the ones that do happy, and then many, many small um, images to go with it. And my favorite um, thing when we have these tiny little dies like this is when the dies are all connected and you get many copies of the same shape. So say I wanted these holly leaves here, all I have to do, uh oh, where did I go? I heard something fall, there we go. Um, those holly leaves there, all I have to do is run that through my die cut machine one time. So this is one die, and I get three fabulous sets of those holly leaves. So um, this really cuts down, get it, cuts, ha ha ha, um, cuts down your time on making a card like this because all you have to do is run each die through one time. Um, so super fabulous. And I decided to, um, for our pieces, I was gonna use a uh, pair of pizzazz for um, the holly leaves, soft suede for these little pieces here, and then a combination of real red and um, taken from the designer series paper inspiration, um, I brought in 
uh, Flirty Flamingo, which often is paired with Real Red as a really great, um, a really great highlight color. So we're gonna do our, our pieces there. Now, uh, let's see, if, so I've got my happy on here. Um, I've got this bigger um, background layering piece here cut from Evening Evergreen, uh, which is gonna match our card, and this top layer cut from Real Red, which is going to match our card. So they're gonna come together here like this. And I'm gonna give you some tips for the front and then also for the inside using um, this terrific stamp set. So let's um, pull this. Now you could do a curtain card. Um, you could do a curtain card kind of sideways and change your dimensions a little bit. And then you could use the cheer die kind of along one side. I don't know which way you would do it. Maybe I'd cut this edge so that it would be curtain fold here. Um, and then let's go ahead and start putting some pieces together. So I'm going to grab my happy and you don't need a ton of glue. So I'm using multi-purpose liquid glue and you guys know what I'm going to say. If you can see the glue, it is enough. So, um, even like out here where you can just sort of see it and it, there's not even like a big bead of glue or anything, that's enough. You don't really need to have crazy amounts of glue for this stuff to hold. All right, so I'm gonna pop that on there and then it does take a second to grab, so don't mess with it for a second or two. Um, and I'm gonna mess with it. <laughs> I'm gonna layer this on here and right away I thought, oh my, that is really difficult to see. I am certain that we're gonna need a background of some kind. So I thought maybe like a circle or a rectangle. So I pulled out my stitched shapes dies and uh, our stitched rectangles dies and the, um, die that I picked is this long skinny one because we want happy and then we need the word holidays to go under there. So you can have um, your giant happy Christmas, you can have Christmas cheer, you can have uh, happy Christmas, you can have kind of whatever you want. Um, but if we take this and give ourselves a background, which I've done here from Pear Pizzazz cardstock, and pop this on, then now we have a much better focal point here, which is super red and green. So um, all you red and green fans, uh, you're gonna love this uh, com combination, it's traditional Christmas colors. So Christmas, I have mounted here, and or holidays, happy holidays, I have mounted here. So I'm gonna go ahead and stamp this before I go any further, because you always wanna stamp on flat layers. You don't wanna have things stuck together with dimensionals and shapes and things, and then try and get your stamping on. So I'm gonna pop holidays on there, okay? And then happy is gonna go up here. Now, uh, we're gonna make this really easy for ourselves. Um, I am going to start putting these pieces together um, but I'm gonna go ahead and do them um, sort of with one set of glue, okay? So this is where it comes in really handy to have uh, the multi-purpose liquid glue, okay? Because like I said, it doesn't grab instantly, so you have a little bit of time to mess around with it, okay? So I'm gonna get my pieces ready. So like I said, I've already die cut my holly leaves, and I've die cut these fun little branches from Soft Sway, and I have some flowers ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit more coverage of glue on here because I don't wanna have to plan ahead about where these things are gonna go, okay? I'll get under here. All right, so I'm gonna take this. Now the clock does start running. So um, I'm gonna set this on here and then I'm gonna go back and I am going to start adding the holly leaves and pieces underneath. So let's see, maybe one there, maybe one out here. And I know that they're color on color, but I um, really like the way they stand out. So I'm not too worried about that. And I'm gonna have some of these go out here into the um, empty space around the edges so that they're not totally color on color. And then let's go um, and start putting in some of our little um, elements here. Let's see, I don't want them for all, all be like up and down necessarily. All right, and then I think one more of these down here. So you could make as many of these as you want, but did you see how I could just pick up that little adhesive part there? This one I think could go under a little bit more. Um, since that glue hasn't quite grabbed yet, I have a little time to go ahead and pick those things up, all right? So see how we have our super cute um, pieces here? So these actually, I didn't even use all of the dies in the set. I didn't use these little branches, which I could have done here. Um, and then there's these ones that match the stamped holly. So you could stamp your holly and uh, so forth. So lots of good possibilities there. And uh, I just, yeah, okay. 
Uh, so this is going to go on the front of our card. Oh, I didn't add the flowers. So let's go put this on the front of our card before we add the flowers so we can kind of arrange those. And I don't know about you, but I have a whole bunch of leftover pieces saved here of the um, edges from my Stampin' Dimensionals. And so I'm gonna bring this in because this is a super handy time to use it. I'm gonna just cut it in half and use the two pieces here. I can get rid of that backing paper. Um, use these two pieces here to attach my uh, layer here onto our card. So Kathy says she has become a big fan of multi-purpose glue. Woohoo! Yep, I am with you on that. I'm glad you like it. If you can keep it off your fingers, uh, it is really pretty fabulous, actually. Um, just so handy for little tiny pieces, especially like this. All right, so there we have, um, oh, not done, not finished, because we have um, bling coming and we have our flowers. So let's go ahead and pop these, figure out where we're gonna put our flower bases. Let's see, what do you guys think? I think kind of maybe one out here in the margin, okay. I have another version of this card to show you actually um, that also uses a different piece of the designer series paper and a different um, color scheme. So when you're working with something like this, all the colors are from the Painted Christmas um, set of uh, the Painted Christmas suite. Um, and then basically you can look at the back of the designer series paper uh, for the list of what the colors included are and then anything in there you can mix and match. So it makes it really simple. Now um, our little um, Calypso or Flirty Flamingo flowers have a uh, hole in the center. So I'm gonna put the glue at the top and sides here instead of right in the center. And then don't forget you can use your take your pick tool to um, pop little paper pieces also. And let's see, I know these aren't grabbing yet because I haven't given them enough time to dry, but that will work out okay. All right, so we're kind of building our pieces here, and then we're gonna add some bling to the front. Now, um, you can have lots of choices for these. Genial Gems would be a good choice with the, the gold and the um, green. Uh, you have the red basic rhinestones, which are super handy, um, or Wonderful Gems, which I couldn't find this morning, so hmm, who knows about that. Uh, but Wonderful Gems are a lot like the Grateful Gems. They're these iridescent, um, more dimensional ones, and those would be really pretty here too. So let's go ahead and pop some red rhinestones on. And I'm going to, remember um, when we're adding rhinestones, we want to kind of emphasize our focal points. So I've kind of got three weighted there around our holidays words, but then I feel like we want one, uh, a, like a full happy set here, because we are, you know, happy. <laughs> happy for Christmas. And so I'm gonna pop one on there. So now we've kind of got our whole spectrum covered there. And yes, Trish got it. If you can see it, it's enough. Um, all right, and Sue says she hasn't tried this fold. Oh yeah, um, it, it works with lots of designer series paper. So if you, if you didn't see, this is the, the card version that um, inspired today's project. This was sent by um, my friends Kathy and Lynn. So Okay, now we need an inside of our card, right? So um, handy in this words of cheer, we have uh, this great big floral image, which is a great way to accent the inside of a card. So I'm gonna bring in my um, every, er, Evening Evergreen stamp pad again, ink pad again, and I'm gonna ink this up and I'm just gonna do the bottom corner because one of the things I love about this card layout is that when you um, have your card closed, you have just a little bit of a sneak peek here of like what's coming, right? Like those little candles that were snuck under there. So now we have a sneak peek here of um, the decoration that's gonna be on the inside of our card. And um, you can, I kind of kind of like this there. All right, so now you can see how pretty this is with a designer series paper on the inside. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and add some adhesive to the back. So we're gonna have this. And um, I do want to say um, tomorrow is the day, Tuesday the 17th, 16th, is the day that um, the stock up seasonal sale, um, sort of like an early Black Friday sale from Stampin' Up! is going to start. And um, one of the things that is on that sale, so it's a percentage sale, and one of the things that is on there um, is that dyes will be 20% off. So um, this die set here, um, this Christmas, uh, cheer dies. 
yeah, Christmas cheer dies would be a really great choice. If you're thinking, okay, I have lots of Christmas words and some Christmas florals, so maybe I don't need that part of it, but I adore the dies, the mix and match dies for cheer and for happy and all those elements. Um, even this dotted one, uh, if I didn't use the stitched uh, rectangle here, if I just cut a regular piece of cardstock, a regular rectangle, I could have put stitched dots along the bottom there um, to emphasize that bottom and give it extra texture. This is a really amazing die set. And so uh, this would be a great one to think about picking up um, as part of the stock up sale tomorrow. So um, the link is in video description. You can plan your shopping cart today and then just make sure that um, when you log in tomorrow, because you can save your cart in my online store, um, make sure that you uh, check to make sure that the discounts show up tomorrow. So now, um, oh, you guys probably know this, a lot of you who have watched my videos before, um, but when you shop with me, you get some perks. One of the perks is a um, PDF of tutorials for the month for a super cute curated set of projects. So those are featuring um, the merriest moments, um, stamps and frames. And then you also get card kits in the mail for two projects and I have those two projects here, which are in that PDF tutorial too, um, these are the two card kits that you'll get in the mail. So make sure you're shopping with me um, when you do your shopping, uh, and I appreciate that. So, All right, so words of uh, cheer here for our fabulous Christmas um, card this morning. Oh, you guys want to see the other one, right? Uh, so here is the whole other version of this card. So I did a little bit different colors. Um, for this one, I used um, Evening Evergreen in the background and then Soft Succulent for our letters. And then the same colors for our flowers and so forth. And then this is the Designer Series paper, also from Painted Christmas, that I used for that card. So you can kind of see um, you have a lot of choices with the colors that you're using um, with the same set of supplies, just changing out the colors and the papers and so forth. So... All right, so I hope you all had a super fabulous weekend. Uh, mine was terrific. Like I said, it was my birthday yesterday, so um, I got some fun Christmas cards, which will be, or Christmas birthday cards, which will be inspiring some projects coming up soon. Um, so thank you guys for all the birthday wishes and so forth. And uh, we got to, I got to hear lots of music this weekend. My kids were in their um, ILMEA, Illinois Music Educator Association District Conference Choirs and things like that. Um, a great show at our high school, like Broadway music for All Together Now. Um, thanks MTI, so if you had that show near you. Um, lots of fun things, so it was a great way to celebrate. And uh, then get to, see, to be here and stamp with you guys this morning. So um, I hope you have a terrific day. If you have any questions, the link is in the video description for supplies and that link will work fine. If you try to go to my website at lovenstamps.com and it pops up that it's not working right now, just check back later today. It, you know, technology, woohoo. Um, so uh, let me know if you have any questions and I look forward to seeing you guys again on Wednesday for another Maker Morning with Meg. So happy stamping.